this. Let's talk more about this right now with RNC's chief strategist and communications director, Sean Spicer. He's joining us. Sean, an extraordinary day. A day, one of the few days I've been able to quote Ghostbusters on television. That's how extraordinary it really is. is how, you have been a student of politics for a very long time. Have you ever seen anything like this announced so publicly? Uh, I, not in recent memory, no. Uh, and as Mark Preston noted just a minute ago, we're now down to 15 remaining states. Five are going tomorrow. But what's really interesting about that, in my mind at least, uh, is that when you look back on the last several cycles, Mitt Romney was a presumptive nominee on April 24th, four years ago, John McCain in March of 2008. We're actually seeing states and voters that have probably never participated for real in the primary system having a real impact in who our nominee is going to be. And that's a really positive thing when you think about the number of people and states that are participating in this process. Sean Spicer, you just admitted on national TV that you have never seen anything like this before, not in recent memory. Donald Trump calls it an act of collusion. He says it's a horrible act of desperation. Your reaction to his comments? Well, as you guys know, this isn't the first time I've said this before, but the RNC's job is to be sort of the fair arbiter of this process, to make sure mm -hmm. that all the candidates have a process by which to play by as we head into Cleveland. I'm not going to comment on the strategy that each campaign employs for what's best for their candidate. That's up to them to decide. Sean, but what Donald Trump says is just that. It's not fair. That This needs, this needs arbitration. This isn't fair. This is collusion. <laughs> No, I think this is two campaigns trying to make a decision for what's in the best interest of their candidate. Mr. Trump's obviously going to make the be what's in the best mind of his, where he goes, how he spends his resources and time. But that's what each candidate is supposed to do, is make a decision as far as what's best. If Donald Trump gets to 1,237 bound delegates uh, before we head to Cleveland, he'll be our presumptive nominee. If not, we'll head to the convention and the case will be made to the delegates. But, Sean, you guys have worked really hard, uh, particularly over the last few weeks, to make this process transparent, to, to tell mm -hmm. people, look, this is fair. Are you concerned at all with the impression that this leaves? I mean, this feels like a game of Monopoly, right? You get Indiana, you know, in Marvin Gardens, I get the railroads in Oregon. We have been very fair about this. We launched conventionfacts.gop. But at the end of the day, I mean, you, you just talked about it. It's, it's up to each to these voters to decide. They can heed the advice of the candidate they support or they can stick with them. Um, but it's, it's ultimately up to these voters and these grassroots activists from, from around these states whether or not they're going to heed the advice of the different candidates they support. They may still go out and, and vote for the candidate that they're supporting. They may heed their advice and vote for one of the others. Uh, they may not vote for either. But again, uh, what each of these candidates has to do is go out and make that case to the delegate, to the voters in each of these remaining 15 states uh, and hope that that case is something that the voter will listen to and act on. Sean, what do you think of <clears throat> when they make this deal, this extraordinary deal, as we've said, and then you've got uh, John Kasich saying today, I never told them the voters in Indiana not to vote for me. They ought to vote for me. What do you think that message is? I don't know. As I said, I'm not going to get in the middle of them, what the particular strategies of their campaign is. It's, I have enough on my plate to deal with, never mind analyzing particular <laughs> strategies or non-strategies. You got more on your I plate as of today with this, Sean Spicer. <laughs> Listen, Sean, thank you very much. We'll check in with you again over the next few days. A lot of states vote tomorrow uh, and then on to Indiana. Thank so you, thanks, Sean. Sean.